But this is how the world that we live in got constructed, got identified, got defined, not by us, but by our oppressors. This is the thing that they continue to try to hold together. You know, we live in a world today, you go and you look at a map that's supposed to be Africa. You see all these so-called countries there. Europe defined that. No African had anything to do with defining those. In 1884 and 85, European white people sat around a table in Berlin, Germany and carved it up and gave out different parts of it to each other. And they did that so they wouldn't have to fight each other for the resources that come from our Africa. They stole it from us. And then they renamed it. And then they gave it their names. And act like they own it, that's theirs. And so here we are in Philadelphia. Our Africa being looted every damn day. We are hungry, starving, fighting police terror and everything in Philadelphia while our Africa, the richest continent on the planet Earth, there's not a single modern economy that could exist any place in the world without the resources that come from Africa. But Africans have no access to it. The whole social rotten social system got its genesis from what they have done to us and what they have taken from us. And they know that there's no way in hell for them to maintain the status quo without using the most vicious kind of violence against black people every day of our existence because they know that there's going to be awakening and that Africa will take back what belongs to us, human and material. That's the way it's going to be.